In this spotlight video, we're going to look at how you can find your beat within Addictive Drums 2. I've got a song idea queued up here that needs a beat. Let's listen to it. Cool. So uh, that's a good start, but now let's try to find a matching beat to this song. First off, let's open up Addictive Drums 2 and let's head on over to the beats page that you'll find up in the top right corner. There we go. Okay, so what do we got here? Well, to the left, you'll find a list of all the available beats and to the right of that, in the middle, you will find the variations of the beat you've got selected. But depending on the number of MIDI packs you own, this list can get pretty long. So to narrow it down, you can use the filters in the beats gallery to the right, where you can filter on all beats, favorite beats, my beats, XLM beats, or beats that are specific to a certain MIDI pack. Let's listen to this one that I found. That sounds really great, but the thing is, it also sounds very rushed. And that's because it's set to 192 BPM, while my song is 150 BPM. The thing is, then we have this really nifty sync tempo button down here. And if you click that, the beat automatically syncs to the settings of your project. Just listen. Now, that's pretty sweet. Another option is to click the sync play stop button to the right of that. This great feature links Addictive Drums 2 to your host. So whenever you hit play or stop in your project, Addictive Drums 2 syncs right up. Let's give that a try. This is a really powerful feature because it allows you to preview the beat in your mix without having to actually import the MIDI into your project. Let's say you want to try another beat. We'll just select it and preview it. And if we hit play in our host, you get to hear it in the song. That's cool, but let's try a variation of that. See? While your song is still playing, you can change the beats on the fly and find the beat you're looking for fast and easy. Another really great way of finding your beat is to use the powerful grid search up top left on the beats page. This basically filters beats by the pattern of how each drum is played. Anyone who's ever played around with a sequencer will recognize the setup instantly. You can filter by the pattern of the kick, snare, hi-hat, or ride. But for now, let's uncheck these and uh, listen to the song I've got queued up here. I don't know about you, but I hear a steady one, two, three, four snare pattern here. Let's see what that gives us. Okay, 60s beat 19. I'll just activate the nifty sync play stop from before and click play. Not too bad. Maybe a bit intense though. So let's try what I get if I filter the snare pattern by side stick instead. Now that's more like it. Let's try another beat in the list here. Uh, this one, Alternative Rock Beat 5. I actually like that, but it gave me an idea. Let's find beats where the kick plays on 4 and. It gives me a beat called American Indie Song 07. Let's listen to that. Yeah, that's more like it. I think I'll go with that one. As you can see, this is just how easy it is to find your beat within Addictive Drums 2. Good luck now, and have fun creating.